Hopes, welcome back. Okay, so today we're talking about the first of our genus, the first of genus Homo. Of them, we have three individuals. This is Homo habilis. Homo habilis. Homo habilis starts out, the very first one that was ever discovered is this one right here in the middle. This is OH24, but her nickname is Twiggy. She was based on, and now the reason I tell you this, I, I'm telling you this for a reason. She was based on a supermodel named Twiggy from the 1960s. Really the world's first supermodel, I think, which will help you recognize this individual. But first, let me tell you about Homo habilis in general. Homo habilis was the very first of genus Homo because their brains were much larger than what we see in Australopith. What we see here is their brains are nearly doubled in size. These have a brain capacity of at least 650 cc's. So, the first thing you'll notice is all of them have this kind of big forehead, comparatively. Remember, the Australopiths, their forehead went virtually straight back. These ones have extra brain meat up top. So, we've got KNM ER 1813. You don't have to remember this. All you have to remember her is Homo habilis. This is OH24, also Homo habilis. And this one is KNM ER 1470, but I call him Homo habilis. Some people call him Homo rudolfensis, but most people believe that if you look at these two skulls, let me hold them side by side, you'll see. They're virtually the exact same shape. They're different sizes, same shape. You see that? So what we're looking at here is two sizes, same shape, same individual or same uh, species. The only difference is this is probably a large male, a small female. So in order of size, we do like this. But I want to draw your attention to some of the specifics when we look at their specific faces because remember every single one of these fossils is an individual therefore if you see one KM 1813 you're going to see them all they'll all look the same you see this big kind of thumbprint right down here i call that her little beauty mark see that beauty mark now all the rest of this is her fossil this is where they have repaired where there's no skull, they just sort of filled it in with clay. They do that a lot, you met that before. So, 1813 has a beauty mark. Twiggy, well, she's got a spray tan. Look at how orange she is. You see how orange she is? So I consider that to be like a supermodel spray tan from the 60s. Last but not least, 1470, all of these are considered homo habilis. If you see 181813 in a test, homo habilis. OH24, homo habilis. KNMER 18, or 1470, homo habilis. This guy, you see this little black reconstruction here? Now, to me, because I'm nuts, we've talked about this before, that to me looks like a lightning bolt. You know where I'm going with this. Harry Potter. So you've got Harry Potter here, Twiggy here, and the little girl here with the beauty mark. It's crazy, I know, but remember, these are all homo habilis. Now in real life, when we're face to face, and you can actually put your hands on these, you can feel that these are much larger. You get your hands around these, they're much larger than the little Australopiths. Even the little tiny girl here still has this big brain case compared to the size of her face. It's all about proportion. Their brain sizes really go up from here. This is 650, hers is about 700, and his is about eh, right around close to 750 or 800, somewhere in there. But the point is, Homo habilis, they were making, they are our first stone tool users.